Solar Impulse originally left the ground just about one meter up in December 2009 in Dubendorf, Switzerland. The hop of 350 meters along the runway marked the end of the engineering phase and the start of flight testing. The project to loft a non-polluting plane burning no fuel flying day and night accomplished an 87-minute test flight in May 2010, charging its lithium batteries in the air and then a breakthrough 26-hour record in July. The second of the project's aircraft, Solar Impulse 2, first took off in June last year. The more than 17,000 photovoltaic cells drive four electric motors of just over 17 horsepower each. Maximum speed is 140 km per hour, cruising speed by day is 90 km per hour and 60 at night to save power. The wingspan of 72 meters is just a little less than an Airbus A380's 80 meters, but the Solar Impulse 2 is hundreds of times lighter than the Airbus. Largely carbon fiber, it weighs about the same as a family-sized 4x4 car, 2,300 kilos. Project co-founder Bertrand Picard, a Swiss psychiatrist, describes the latest, greatest exploit planned for the aircraft that has been 12 years in development. We will start from Abu Dhabi, uh, cross India and China. These will be legs of 24 hours each. And then the big jump to Hawaii and to the United States, the big jump over the Atlantic to Southern Europe or Northern Africa, and then a very, very long flight back to Abu Dhabi in order to finish the complete circle. The five-month, 35,000-kilometer journey is to be broken into 25 flight days. Project co-founder André Boschberg has also been training for the five day and night blocks flying solo for some stretches. The Swiss businessman says we plan to rest or sleep for a maximum of 20 minutes at a time. Then we have to re-establish contact with the control center, check that everything's working properly and then maybe have a second break. The two pilots will have a 65-strong logistical support team along the route and the same number in Monaco. The project aims to demonstrate renewable energy innovation and solutions for environmental challenges.